Hey everyone, you are Tesla Tom and welcome to my YouTube channel where we talk about all things Teslas, electric vehicles and renewable energy. If this is your first time, please take a moment to hit that red subscribe button, that way you stay informed and also helps my channel grow. The worst case scenario is that you just unsubscribe later. Today we're going to talk about the Tesla autopilot crash on a Taiwanese freeway and we're going to do that right after this. Alright guys, well if you haven't seen the Tesla Model 3 crash on a Taiwanese freeway, here it is right now. Let's watch it together. Okay, so at the time of this post, there hasn't been too many official details from Tesla themselves. So all I'll do today is to is speculate and analyze based on a couple of pieces of footage and also some images from the crash itself. First thing I'll say about this video is that it happened on a sunny day. And that's important too, and I'll tell you why in a second. There are a few shadows on the road. So there's a shadow from uh, a, what appears to be a bridge or an overpass before the side of the crash. There are some shadows on the lane that the white Model 3 is in. Uh, I assume it's coming from the bushes in the median divider of the freeway. The car is driving on the leftmost lane of this freeway and because Taiwan uh, drives on the right hand side of the road, that's the fastest lane. You won't see it on this bit of footage, but when I show the other footage from the other angle, the truck is white um, from the top and that's also very important. The road itself, it looks like it's a dip because the car seems to be coming downhill and then on the reverse image or the reverse footage, um, the, the road goes up again and turns to the right and that's also important, I'll tell you why in a second. I guess news reports have come forward um, claiming that the driver was an autopilot and that's what the driver has said themselves. I don't know whether the car is on autopilot or navigate autopilot. I don't think it makes too much of a difference because it's still lane keeping. There's no uh, freeway exits very close by that I can see. Um, so it shouldn't matter. There's something called phantom braking and that happens when the car sees shadows and that's why I pointed out shadows before. I've demonstrated that before in our Model 3 on autopilot when there are shadows on the road, uh, particularly when the sun is high. Um, the car can sometimes phantom brake, like it'll want to brake because it's seeing a shadow on the road. And that doesn't seem to lend support to this case because, you know, had the car seen um, something on the road, uh, a difference in the shape of the road, whether it be a plate or a shadow, it might have jumped, it might have stopped. But from the footage that I, that I can see, this this white Model 3 in the left lane seems to be actually getting faster um, until it reaches the, the person in the middle of the freeway near the divider, who I can only assume is the driver of the truck. Um, so once that car passes the drive of the the person in that middle of the road, then the brakes come on. You can see the skidding from the car and and the and the smoke coming from the road itself. And I can only assume that's the braking from the car. Whether that's um, the car activating emergency braking or the human has actually taken over to to finally stop the car. Now, it's hard to know what the driver was doing at the time, and that's why I always say on autopilot, whether you're on basic autopilot or navigate on autopilot or even cruise control, it's not automated driving. You have to always pay attention. It's not a judgment on what that person was doing, but whether they were doing something else, I, I, can't, I can't be sure, but certainly 
if, if you were paying full attention while on autopilot, and certainly when I try to demonstrate that using my videos, I'm very careful. I'm always actually hyper vigilant when I'm on autopilot, knowing that it's not autonomous driving just yet. Anecdotally, I have seen, um, not in Australia, but when I've driven in the US, I've seen people in Teslas texting while on autopilot on the freeway. And that freaks me out a little bit. Um, I don't think that's on. I certainly do not condone that behavior at all. When you're on autopilot, keep attention at all times. I don't know what this driver was doing. I guess we'll never know unless they had some sort of in-car recording device. Uh, and even if they did, I assume that's probably lost now. So we just don't know. Luckily, that person survived. So we're thankful for that. Um, so that's that's the driver side of things. I guess um, the other thing I want to talk about too is the road itself. So as I said before, from this front angle, you can see that the road actually uh, dips down. So there's actually a, uh, a slope down towards the accident site. And then I'll show you the reverse footage where you'll see that the, car, the road actually bends to the right and possibly goes uphill again um, once it get part, gets past the truck. So that's important because from the car's point of view, when when you see what happens on the screen, the car actually, you know, it actually tries to estimate where it should be. Um, so it'll sort of estimate with line of best fit, so to speak, with the autopilot lines, and, and it'll try and try and just, you know, try and find out where the next part of road is. So it's always looking forward. So whether the truck, um, you know, didn't actually appear to the car as a major obstacle, you know, it's maybe it just couldn't differentiate whether it was a small blockage that it could get a, get over quickly or the, whether it was a large obstacle. And again, that's important because if you're on a dip looking down from the car, you, you can't judge perspective as well. The truck may actually only appear to be a small obstacle from far away. Um, which is why possibly the car only just broke automatically when it got too close to the vehicle. The other important thing too is from this angle, the truck is white. Um, it's actually very close in color to the rest of the road. And looking at the autopilot cameras when you're on sentry mode or dash cam, you know, it, if, if that is the color gradient um, of those cameras and that's what the autopilot is using, then I'm very doubtful as to whether uh, with the truck overturned, the car would have actually differentiated uh, the road from the truck color because the color is not very good um, with the autopilot cameras. So I guess all these things amount to the fact that, you know, if the driver wasn't paying attention and just relying on the car's um, uh, full self-driving capabilities, then yes, I can see that the car could possibly have hit the truck if, if the human didn't override it quickly enough. And as you've seen with my recent uh, roundabout video, um, Not that time. No. No, just drove, drove right through it. No, that drove straight over the roundabout again. The car will try and estimate where the road is after the roundabout, and it doesn't actually stop for the roundabout at this stage. It'll just drive right over, as I've demonstrated before. So. Uh, you know, maybe that's what happened. Maybe the car was trying to drive over the truck, not knowing, not knowing where the truck was in space, like how how high the truck was, or um, what the perspective of the truck was compared to the rest of the road. Especially when it's on the downslope like that, and the and then the road goes back up again, and if it's at the bottom of a hill. So yeah, that's I guess that's my um, that's my analysis, guys, of of where of where the driver or where the car of where the car would have um, gone wrong. Uh, if it was an autopilot and it didn't see this truck, which is another lesson for me and for you guys if you're watching this, if you're on a Tesla, to always pay attention when you're driving on uh, autopilot or a freeway or on the city road at this stage. It's just, for me, not 100% quite there yet. Uh, and this is certainly another example of where, uh, you know, humans still need to pay attention when driving Teslas on autopilot. All right, guys, well, that is uh, my analysis of the Taiwan freeway crash with the Tesla Model 3. Uh, I'm very thankful that no one got hurt um, from this video, and I'm glad the driver's okay. But let it be a lesson to you guys uh, moving forward. All right, guys, well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you've liked this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Um, and also leave a comment too if uh, you've had a near miss or an accident on autopilot uh, driving your Teslas around and what lessons have you learned from uh, driving on autopilot as well. Thanks for watching guys, stay safe, take care, and until next time, happy charging.